Listen, right, Paul? He ended up with the trophy. First American man to win here since Andre Agassi. And as we look at the top eight seeds on the men's side, he's the first American man ranked in the top five since our colleague Andy Roddick. Yeah, and Taylor's so proud of that, as he should be. Finished the year in the top ten. Mike Russell, as the lead coach, has done such a great job. He really has taught Taylor a lot. Taylor has done all the hard work. Wolfgang Oswald, as we know, his trainer, you and I have talked about him before, Steve, has done a great job through the injuries, including here last year. But, look, Taylor knows he belongs, and now he has all the tangible proof. He has all the facts, and there's nothing better than looking at facts to prove what you think about yourself. So now Taylor coming off a win in Del Rey, a tough loss last week to his buddy Tommy Paul, who played some great tennis in Mexico. But he does believe he belongs here, and so I think that's going to be a, a new thing for him. But coming back to the place where it all started, pretty good times. Already picked up a cool 100 grand too last night. Tiebreak 10s winning that with Arena Sabalenka. The, the game is on. Who is your pick, Paul, to win the title here? You know, I, I so tough to go against Daniel Medvedev, right? I mean, three titles in the row. The guy has played such great tennis. You saw him beat Novak in Dubai four and four, and it could have been even worse than that. He's played great, feeling confident, and I think this guy has a mission this year. He slipped outside the top 10. He wants to prove to everybody just how good he is. And man, he has been devastating. We've seen him beat great player after great player. How about Rublev two and two in the finals in Dubai? So Medvedev is very tough to beat. And uh, like I said, he's got something on his mind, which is a statement about saying, guys, don't forget about me. 14 straight wins he's had. Daniil Medvedev, who is still not one of the top four seeds right now, but looking to get back there. Who's your pick, Chanda? Yeah, I think it's always dangerous when a, a guy like Medvedev, he's got a little something to prove again, and now he's a little more motivated. But I, I've been kind of looking at Carlos Alcaraz. We ha he hasn't had as many matches. He's had some injuries. We kind of wonder how he'll hold up physically, but I still think his mindset, how hungry he is, how good he looked uh, in his first matches, those first couple of tournaments coming back, I think the these conditions suit him, um, the court speed. He has such a big game. And I think he's got a good chance to work his way in to this tournament. We don't look past any player. But I think for Alcaraz, he would be happy with his draw and certainly feeling confident if he is 100% healthy. He is the top seed. And if he wins the tournament, he passes Novak Djokovic to retake that world number one ranking.